sewing jeans is becoming a huge trend, and fitting them is easier than you might think. So let's take a look at a basic jean pattern. Here you have grading lines. Grading lines are different sizes. It's great when it comes multi-sized because you can alter for your body shape really easy. So let's start with some of the main alterations that many of us need. Lengthening and shortening. Now you might think that if you're gonna shorten, you just shorten from the hem. And you might think if you need to lengthen, you lengthen from the hem. But that's not quite right because they won't fit correctly. So take a look at these two sketches here. This is the back, this is the front. And what I have here is I've marked where the thigh is on the pattern, where the knee is, and where the calf is. So that's where my knee, calf, and thigh is. Yours might be different. Some of us have longer and shorter legs. We're built differently, so use your own measurements. What I'm gonna do is show you on one piece here what we're gonna do with that. So why on earth would you need to know where those are if you're gonna lengthen? Well, because if you're using a boot cut jean pattern, which like this one, or bell, or bell bottom, you want your knee to fall right where that pattern comes in. So let's just say this is my knee right here. And I need the pattern one inch longer. If I lengthen from here, this is gonna be one inch above my knee. And how do I know that? Because this happens all the time when I buy ready to wear. My knee hits right below my thigh. Not very attractive. So I'm gonna mark that knee line on the front and the back piece, but I'm just gonna work on the front piece. So whatever you do to the front, you're gonna to do to the back. So here's my pattern piece. Make sure that you, I'm gonna make a, a lot of alterations on this one pattern, so we're just gonna tape it to this yellow paper behind. What you need to make sure, this is your grain line, and I'm always gonna line up my ruler with the grain line. Because if you skew it at all, then your jean pattern is really gonna be a mess. The grain line is very, very, very important. All right, so there we have that, and it looks like that's just about an inch. So if you need to lengthen a lynch, an inch, you're gonna go that way. If you need to shorten, do the same thing. Now, if you find that this falls right where your knee is, you're gonna do this alteration down here at the calf instead, or higher. So measure it on your own body. If you're finding that the pattern narrows above or below your knee, then that's where you're gonna shorten from, here or here, or lengthen. Pretty simple. So all I would do is tape that to the bottom piece, and they call it truing your lines. Here is where I'm just going to use those lines. And they have really nice rulers. If you have one of those, that's even better. Just make sure. And you're just gonna line those up with your pattern size. Okay, that's one thing. So that's lengthening or shortening. Again, from here, here, or here. Now what if you wanna shorten? I've got a little mini pattern here. What happens if you wanted to shorten that? Let's just say we wanted to shorten it from here. Excuse the messy line, but I'm just gonna show you this quickly. I'm gonna fold against that line and fold. So for lengthening, you spread apart. For shortening, you basically just fold the pattern over. Now for truing this line, it's a little more challenging. What I would do is I would just start to even this out so it matches the hem. Okay, so just kind of give yourself a nice line. If you're shortening a lot, you just wanna make sure that you don't have a seam that goes straight out when it comes time to sew. So you'll just true that line. So there you go, so that's lengthening and shortening. What are some other common things that many of us have? Well, what about if you have hips that are a little bit bigger than the pattern? And many of the jean patterns are cut slender, especially the skinny jeans. So let's just say that you are typically this size here. Let's use this solid line here. I think that's a two. And let's say that you're a two everywhere except in the hip. And let's just say you need to come out here for your hip. How would you know that? First of all, you would measure across your pattern. Many patterns give you the exact measurements of the pattern. That's your exact body measure, or the exact measurement of the garment. So you can take your measurement and compare it to that. It's very different than the outside of the envelope. So let's just say you're normally a size two and it looks like you're an eight, or, between an eight and a 10. Well, that's gonna be challenging, but not really because you have all these lines as a guide. So what I normally do is I'll mark on my pattern, let's just say the pattern fits perfectly through here, and then I need to go out to here. And after that, if you have a little bit fuller tummy, you want it to stay larger at the top. All I do is find, this is called, it's like a hip curve, a hip ruler. I'm just gonna kind of align this, so this will be my line here, and then we're gonna go out, okay? That's a little bit further out than the two, so don't get confused. Let's just say that we fit here all the way up. 
whatever size that is. This measurement from here to here is on your body. And then we're gonna line up and go out to the hip. And then if you're a little bit fuller in the top, then I would just kind of ease that line around to here. The only thing you don't want is a sharp point. You do not want this to go out and then in. It needs to be a nice curve. Very simple. I told you it was easier than you thought, so all you have to do is measure and mark. Okay, so that's for a little bit larger hip. What happens if you want to shorten, you buy a pattern and the rise is too low or the rise is too high? This is a very, very easy alteration. And I got my little guys here to show you. What I do is I'll mark a line across the pattern, the back and the front. So we'll do it live right here on this one. Where you want to mark the line, you want it to be perpendicular to the grain line. Okay, so line that up. And you also want it to cross the fly. Why would it matter if it crosses the fly? Because if you decide to lengthen your pattern and you do it way down here, you're not lengthening the zipper, which means you're not gonna get your tush in the jeans, so that would be bad. So here's our line, and then what we're gonna do is if we wanna shorten it, we would fold along that line, and that would shorten our rise. But we're gonna lengthen it, because that's usually, well, I usually wanna shorten it, because I'm short-waisted, but I find that a lot of the people that are sewing the jean pattern, they want a little bit higher rise. So all you're gonna do is cut that straight across like I did. One thing I wanna point out is I have the pocket underneath of there, so because you're gonna have to adjust this pocket length the same. Spread it apart as much as you need. Let's say one inch again. Lining up all of your seams the best that you can, and then you're gonna just tape it down. And you'll do the same to the front and the back because you're gonna need the side seams to meet. That is how easy it is to raise the rise. The one thing you wanna keep in mind though is if you raise your rise up, your waist usually goes in. So let's just say your hips are out here and you just raise this up. Your hips are here and this usually goes in. Not always, but usually. So if you're in the case where you're just kind of rounded in the front, this is perfect, just leave it. But if you have a narrower waist, what you're gonna to wanna to do is if this is your pattern size on the outside, when you get up here, you're just gonna to wanna to slightly bring that in a little bit. And if you're afraid to do it on the pattern, just try the jeans on and you can take it in then. It's better to take it in because you know you're not gonna be able to let it out. Okay, so that's one more alteration, raising and lowering. Now, when I did that, I would wanna true these lines here. This is where the fly is gonna go. So I would take my fly pieces and do the exact same thing for this. So as I showed you on here, for the back, I would do the same thing. There's my line. If I want to shorten the rise, I fold it under. Again, I would have to true that line right here or spread it apart. All right, let's go into one really tricky one. This is one that um, if you have a full tummy, this is a great alteration. It's a little complicated, so follow along. So the yellow paper underneath, don't get confused, that's our entire pattern now, okay? So if you need more room, they fit everywhere from here down. And I get this all the time. They fit perfect, but they don't fit good through here. Well, here's a very simple alteration. We're gonna cut across. I'm gonna give a line all the way across. Line up my grain line, across. Here's two little visuals, if you'd like to see, as I'm doing this. See how this open and spreads? I go across to here, and then I'm gonna do an angle right to the top. We're gonna say that's the outside of our seam. When you do a lot of alterations on one pattern, it gets confusing what you're doing. So we're gonna cut across here to here and cut up to here. The other thing is if you just open that, all you're gonna end up with is kind of a swinging gate. So if you can follow these little marks here, you're gonna cut down to here, but not through this point. Cut down to th here, not through this point. This is cut, and then what do you end up with? This is where I'm bringing this little guy in. See how I have spread that open? So here was that bottom line I just showed you. These were little darts to help it spread apart. What this has done is it has given you more room for your tummy, and it's also made more room in the top, so if you have a fuller stomach area. I'm gonna true that line, just like I've done here. 
and you'll blend this in. Now you'll need to try this on to make sure that this curve of the front, the front crotch is perfect, but this is how you would leave a lot of extra room. Now, if you're really good, you can just draw it in, but this is a very technical way of doing this, but you make plenty of room for the tummy. So those are some of the main alterations for a pattern. And the last thing I want to mention is when you're doing your jean pattern, don't forget that it's your style, you're sewing these. So if it comes with this pocket and it doesn't look good on you, you can change the angle, you can change the size, have fun with that. Now that's the easiest alteration. So enjoy these alterations and have fun sewing your jeans.